Well, hello and good morning and welcome to our little videos that we are doing this year and talking about what are you reading and I absolutely love this series because we're talking about the things that God is showing us in his word and that's just something really exciting and um, you know we always talk about God's word being alive and living and active and this is a way we get to experience that and I just wanted to remind you that if you have some uh, stories or even not even stories but just insights that God is showing you and revealing his life we would love to be able to um have you share your voice so we can hear some other voices of what god is doing um in, in his women of born and so um as we were talking about recently we're kind of going through a little bit of a series and talking about the things that we experienced at the retreat um and i was one of the speakers on saturday morning and i got to talk about being grounded in god's word which is something i absolutely love and um, was a bit of a daunting task to be honest um but absolutely loved talking about it and so to this morning i'm going to be sharing from um, the niv version of the bible i don't have my esv with me and so i'm going to read from there it's exodus 3 verses 2 through i'm going to go all the way down through verse 6. so if you would join me there it says there the angel of the lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush moses saw that though the bush was on fire it did not burn up so Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. And so as I was speaking on Saturday morning, I walked the ladies through a three step process that I call the three R process and kind of how you can encounter God's word um, and the process of it. And we see it here. We first saw that Moses responded. He turned aside, which we also talked, Jacqueline and I talked about, but he turned aside to see what this was. And so we talked a lot about how in God's word, when you notice something that you've never noticed before, slow down and take the time to turn aside, respond to it, see what's going on in God's word, respond to that. And then we, I reminded everybody, another R word of God's um, that he recognizes whenever we turn aside. It says um, in the ESV, I remember the phrases like, and when the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, it was like kind of a neat little rhythm to it. Um, so God saw Moses respond to this. And when he does, there's a revelation that happens. God sees Moses' heart coming and turning aside. And because of that, God recognizes it. And then he reveals himself. He says, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And so that is something to keep in mind is that when we, um, you know, come to the Lord and when we turn aside, when we, um, you know, respond to his word, that we have to also remember that God recognizes our response. He sees us. He sees us turning aside. And then there's there can be revelations that happen. When we read God's word, we suddenly start to realize all these different things. And that's done through the Holy Spirit in God's word. And then I also just said the other R word is to remember. And so you see at the end of this passage that Moses hides his face. Um, he has, he remembers who God is. He has a reverent awe for who the Lord is and hides his face because he realizes he's standing on holy ground. And so there was a phrase that I kept saying in my little, my little, little talk or message, um, on Saturday morning. And it actually came from John one. And, um, there's an encounter there with the disciples, Philip and Nathaniel and Nathaniel, when Philip goes and tells his friend Nathaniel to come and see he said to, to see Jesus, Nathaniel um, says, can anything good come from Nazareth? And rather than refute his claims, Philip just says, come and see. And so that was my, my main encouragement. And it's a phrase that the Lord has been showing me day in and day out of even life plans and situations of things that I think should be a certain way, or even when I'm stepping into something, maybe fearfully, it's you know, this idea of not so much my plans, but God saying, Megan, come and see, see what I have in store. 
you know, like we were talking with Jenna, hold those plans loosely and come and see. And so that was something that I really think was very pivotal for me personally and for a lot of ladies to just come and encounter God's word, encounter his presence, see in his word what he would reveal, but we have to turn aside. We have to respond to it. We have to get curious. I kept saying like, be like a child. Um, when you approach God's word, when you see something, wonder, but why? And then, but why? Okay, but why? You know, get curious about God's word and just watch as he reveals things to you. So um, I hope that that encourages you today, reminds you to seek his face. Um, Psalm 27 is always a good reminder to go there. You know, your face, Lord, I will seek. Um, and just seeking God with your whole heart and just asking him to reveal himself to you in his word and um and just remembering that God's word never returns void so even um you know if you find yourself busy and you can only spend 10 minutes in God's word a 10 minute walk is better than sitting on the couch so just remember that today be encouraged today and um, even this is spending some time in God's word and thinking about his thinking about his word and growing in it and just remember to turn aside turn Turn your phone off, put it down, turn aside and look to God and see what he would have, what he would reveal to you. So um, let me pray for us. And um, yeah, I just hope that you're blessed today. So Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for the revelations that come through your word. We thank you not only that you reveal to us yourself through your written word. That's such a holy thing, Lord. But God, we also thank you that you recognize when we turn aside. So, Father, I ask that we would be women who respond, that when we encounter something of curiosity, Lord, this book is such a, a wondrous book full of so many mysteries, and I just pray that your spirit would indwell in us and would um, spark holy curiosity about different things, Lord, and you would reveal the depths of your glory and your grace through your word. Father, we know that your word never returns void and that... The word was made flesh and Lord this is in coming and seeing you and so father we just thank you for that and I pray that you'd be with us today it's in your son Jesus Christ's name we pray amen all right you guys have a wonderful rest of your day